All right, holy cow, pardon the pun, Gary, but how much has happened since I saw you last time in here in May? Last time we spoke, we thought that the planting season was actually going to blow away estimates. Yes. What is going on? I mean, how are you guys treating this was. thing? It was. Yeah, I mean, when we spoke last May, it was looking perfect. I mean, we, we had planted the crops extremely early uh, and set a pace on how fast things were going. By middle of June, things we were looking at, we were going to have an extremely, you know, extreme crops, right. of, of bumper crops and beyond, and, and record yields and things of that such. Now it has gone... Obviously, with all the news of droughts and everything else, we, we 2012 will be the measuring stick for years to come of how bad things can change and how quickly things can change. So, is there any hope for the 2012 crop at all? I mean, you would need to read like two inches every single day for two weeks. Yeah. Or, or are you just past that point in terms of the actual production of it? Where we, we, for corn, for all intents and purposes, yeah, you're past the point of no return. It's one of those things, all right, how bad is bad? And, uh, you know, in May, the yield up projections are like 166. Now it's 125 and, and probably still falling. Um, so how bad it becomes, you know, we'll, we'll, we won't really know until September right. and October, but it's devastating. And everybody's looking at the beans right now to see where that goes, because mm -hmm. that's really the next shoe to, to drop. Correct. You're yeah, right. Now, beans are sort of like in the fourth quarter of the game. They could right. still be saved to some extent with some rains. Um, but we need rains like today. And right. so if they don't happen in the next few days, it's, you know, corn or beans will experience the same thing the corn's going through. So now what's happening for 2013? Because a big focus that we look at on options profits over at the street is from the stock perspective. Mm -hmm. So right now, obviously, the fertilizers and the ag names are having, you know, their quarters, they've been doing really right. well, taking up their guidance. Q3, Q4 is definitely the story for them. Sure. But going into 2013, you'd have to imagine that the demand is going to be there. It's got to be. Exactly. The demand doesn't change. You know, for all intents and purposes, people still need to eat and still, you know, the fuel, whatever you want right. to use our products for. They, they're still going to be used. And it's just a matter of how much, uh, you know, do you have to pay to get those products. Right. And the expansion is going to be there. If anything, these prices will expand, you know, across the globe. And that's just domestically because China and India haven't even put their orders in from as far as we know. Not not nearly as much as they need, for right. sure. And finally, right. in terms of trading these positions from the pits here, the actual underlying, there's something that you guys write in your uh, news piece every day in terms mm. of trading the position versus what's actually happening. That's a really key theme that you seem to talk about all year long. What does that mean for a trader? Yeah, it is. I mean, it's one of those things that, you know, with the you can't get caught up in the moment because there's so much going on on a moment, you know, moment to moment basis. So we really try to look at a much bigger picture and what, you know, what does the whole overall outlook look like? And, uh, you know, we try to expand and look at things in a, in a much more global perspective and, and make spreads analysis and right. volatility analysis and, uh, and play it that way. So another big question is $8 corn. Does that make sense? Is that properly priced or is that more of like a speculative trade? at this point uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, it is not fairly priced you know no it's not I mean are we rationing demand some yes mm -hmm. uh, is, is ethanol under going to be under the gun yes but is it right. is it to the point where we're shutting it off not at all well not during an election year no especially way. exactly all right great yeah. well